Hello and welcome to this lecture. So in the previous lecture we saw about span and the general process of elimination using variables and all that. It can be a little bit confusing. So I want to show you how elimination works actually in practice with some simple examples. So you'll see in simple examples it's really really easy to do elimination but the general principles are also important to know. Okay. So here we're going to do a change in uh, notation. Okay. So far we've been writing vectors as columns and doing elimination with columns. It's a little bit confusing and not easy to write down. What we're going to change now is we're going to start writing vectors as rows. Okay. So this is much much easier. We will remember that vectors have to be columns in some sense okay, at some level but for now we will write it as rows. Okay. And then it's easier to denote in the notation and it's easier to do elimination and all that. Okay. So even if somebody gives you vectors as columns you simply rewrite them as rows and work. Okay. So for instance uh, the vector 1 2 is basically instead of writing 1 2 I'm going to say 1 2. So the x coordinate is 1 y coordinate is 2 like that. Okay. So 1 2 2 5 3 8. How do we do elimination? How do you find the span for these things? Okay. So I'll show you first how to do it with this and then we'll generalize. Okay. So, so far we've not done three vectors. It seems like something new but you'll see it's very very similar to what we did before. Okay. So first thing is you write the three vectors. I'm calling the first one v1, second one v2, third one v3. I'm writing them in one row after the other, right? 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 8. Okay. So what is the idea behind elimination? I have a 1 here. Okay. So let me make this 2 as 0. Okay. That's the idea. Maybe this 2 can be become 0. This 3 can also become 0. I can do this process and still keep the span the same, right? V1, V2, V3. I want to keep the span the same. But I can do V2 equals V2 minus some A, V1. And V3 also equals V3 minus some... Uh, you know b v 2 v 1 I can do that and still not change the span that's the point of the elimination right so let's do that okay so v 1 I'm going to keep as such I'm going to write replace v 2 with v 2 minus 2 v 1 okay v 2 minus 2 v 1 how did I come up with this v 2 minus 2 v 1 see I want to make this 0 so I have to take 2 minus 2 times this so this will become 0 likewise here v 3 I want to make this 0 how do I make this 0 it should be v 3 minus 3 times v 1 Okay, so you see how that is going on. Okay, so I have to bring in as many zeros as possible. That's the philosophy of elimination. We're going to do it like this. Okay, so let's write that down. So it's 1, 2. What is V2 minus 2 V1? This will go to 0. 5 minus 2 into 2 is 1. Okay, 5 minus 4 is 1. 3 minus 1 into 3 is 0. 8 minus 3 into 2 is 8 minus 6, which is 2. Okay, so that's my first step in the elimination. Notice how it's become 1, 2, 0, 1, 0. Okay. Now the question is, okay, I've, I've finished eliminating here. How do I proceed, right? So we can do more elimination. Okay, why not, right? So what what worked here may also work on this side, right? So that's what's that's what's different. So I've got one two here and zero one here. Notice this one is there. Okay, this one is there, and then this two is there. I can use this one and eliminate this two also, right? I can do. Notice what I've done here. V three, this new new V three that I have here, zero two. I'm going to replace as v3 minus 2 v2. Okay, remember v2 I renamed as this 0, 1. So v2 minus v3 minus 2 v2. Okay, so the 0 remains 0, nothing will change. This 2 minus 2 into 1 will become 0 again. So I get 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, now the span is very, very easy to figure out, right? The 0, 0 plays no role in the span. What is the span of 1, 2, 0, 1? R2. Okay, so easy to write down. So notice how elimination, even when you have three vectors, beautifully gives you the answer for the span. Okay, so in exact exact examples, it's very, very easy to do. The same thing we did with for two vectors also, for three vectors also, you can continue to do the same thing. Here's another example, which may look a little bit non-trivial, but I'll just show you the elimination can be altered very nicely to fit any anything you have. Here is another example, 0, 2, 2, 5, 3, 8. Okay, so it looks like, you know, this looks very different from this. I know there's a 0 here already. What do I do? How do I eliminate this 2, 3, etc.? So when you already have a 0 here, don't worry about this 2 and 3, okay? The 0 is already there. You can't do any elimination this way. But there is a non-zero here, right? You can use this and eliminate these guys, okay? So that's what I'm going to do next. Notice what I've done here. V1 is as such. V2 gets replaced with V2 minus 5V1 by 2. How did I come up with this 5V1 by 2? Notice that will eliminate this to 0. Do you see that? Okay, multiply by 5 by 2 and then subtract. This guy will go to 0. That's the idea and coming up with this 5 by 2. So you get 2, 0 here. Okay. What about 3, 8? How do I eliminate this 8 fellow? 8 minus 4 into 2. So that's what I do here. V3 minus 4 V1. 
and that becomes 3, 0. So, notice how the elimination process just brings in these zeros, okay. So, I have 0, 2, I have 2, 0 here and 3, 0. Notice this non-zero guy and this 3 is there, okay. Using this non-zero, I can eliminate this 3 and the zeros anyway will go away. So, notice the same step as before, V3 minus 3 by 2, V2, okay. How did I get the 3 by 2? So, that's where 3 minus 3 by 2 into 2, it will cancel off and give me 0, okay. So, I got 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. In all these elimination processes, the span is not this, all, all, not changed at all. The span of all these three remains the same because I used the property 2 to come up with these changes, okay. So, now span of 0, 2, 2, 0 is easy, right, is the same as 0, 1, 1, 0. It's like, the, you know, this is an easy straightforward example that we saw. So, answer becomes R2, okay. So, I hope you see how elimination is helping you do a span for any number of vectors in actual examples. So, here's one more example, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6. Okay, so this is also actually quite easy. You know? 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6 is uh, you write down 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6 like this and you eliminate here, right? This 1 is here, so you eliminate to make it 0 and guess what you see? You get 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, you do V2 minus 2, V1, V3 minus 3, V1, you get 2, 4 just goes up to 0, 0, 3, 6 also goes up to 0, 0. So you end up getting only one vector. What is this? 0, 0 don't play any role in the span, only 1, 2 is there, so you get. 1, 2 into C, which is line through origin and 1, 2, okay. So, notice once again, when you go to span of three vectors, elimination is helping you and again, you're getting either a line through the origin or R2, okay. You're not getting anything else as long as you have uh, non-zero vectors, okay. So, this is something very strong and using this, uh, we can now sort of define or come up with a clear statement for what to do when you have a span of set of vectors in R2. You have V1, V2, V3 to Vk. We'll assume all are non-zero. Why am I assuming all of them are zero? If any of these are, are non-zero, if any of these are zero, simply throw them out of the span. Zero doesn't contribute anything to the span, right? We've seen that before. So, you can throw it out. So, we'll assume all are non-zero. How do I do it? I will write these as k rows and two columns, okay? So, each vector v1 written as a row, right? Length two row, right? And then you have k of them. So, you have k rows and two columns and then you eliminate them. The elimination is the same principle as before. If you have a non-zero value here, using that non-zero value, make everything below it zero, and then you go to the next non-zero value, zero, or if anything becomes all zero, throw it out. If anything is non-zero in the next one, you go there, use it, and eliminate further, etc. If you do that, you may end up with one row which is non-zero, all other rows are zero, okay? That is one possibility. In that case, the answer is the line through the origin and the non-zero row. We saw it in the example, that is what will happen in the general case also. If two rows are non-zero, other rows are zero, this, this also happened, right? In that case, the answer will be the entire plane R2. Nothing else can happen, okay? So, you, so you, you just think about that elimination process, right? You may get one row which is non-zero or you may get two rows which is non-zero. You cannot have more than two rows non-zero in the elimination because if you have more than two rows, you can again do the elimination and you can get down to zero. Okay, so think that through very carefully. That was that procedure and that proves that no other possibility is existing. Okay, so think about why that is true. In the, in the elimination process, the way we defined it, you can only get one non-zero row or two non-zero rows. Okay, so we have nailed down at least procedurally what is going to happen to the span of any set of vectors in R2. You may get a line through the origin or you may get the entire plane R2. Okay, so let me write that down. Okay, so this so this concludes our discussion of the span. I hope uh, it's clear. Uh, in the examples, you will get more practice with elimination. It's an important thing to practice and be very very comfortable with. Okay, so this concludes this short lecture. Thank you.